was on the phone with another veteran, making sure they were well taken care of. So I do apologize. Thanks for your patience. But welcome, Lovia Race Nation. Happy Red Friday. Red, as you can see, representing. Why red, for those who don't know or are not aware? Remember, everyone deployed. So we just want to give a shout out to all our, our military, uh, Coast Guard, everyone who's out there serving, who are deployed, and their families. Thank you so much. And uh, enjoy the, our today's uh, little uh, lecture today, right? lecture, training, whatever you want to call it. So today we're going to talk about what to expect at closing and how to prepare. Honestly, there's not too much to it, so it's going to be a pretty easy one. Uh, so you've gone through the process, you've gone through processing and underwriting, the appraisal and all the fun stuff, right? So now you're there, ready, getting ready to close. So what, what happens next? What, do you, what, what are you going to do? So first off, one of the things that you have to do is review the closing disclosures, okay? So by law, you have to receive closing disclosures prior to doing the actual closing. How soon before? Actually three days. And that's by law. That's not our choice. That's not at the lenders or the even the VA's choice. That is law. It gives the borrower, so not just the veteran, but the borrowers in general, the opportunity to review the numbers, look at it, make sure the terms are what they agreed to, and therefore give them a chance to, hey, you know what, back out, or hey, loan officer, I see a few mistakes here, okay, or can you clarify, these aren't the numbers we discussed, or hey, everything looks great. So you want to make sure you review the closing disclosures. Do it yourself with whoever is also signing with you. Talk it over with the loan officer. Give Maurice a call and say, hey, Maurice, I want to go over this with you. Can you just help me with this? Once you feel good about it, you set the closing date. Okay, so again, we have to wait three days. So once you view them, three days later is when, as the soonest you can close. Okay, so the next step, confirm the appointment. You've set the appointment with the loan officer and they assign typically a notary or an attorney. Okay, some states do require an attorney, most states don't. So for the most part, we here at Lovia Race, we'll just go, our title company or the title companies that we, we typically work with, we'll just have a notary who will be there at the closing. Okay, they will bring all the documents uh, for that day, they bring them over, hard copies for you to review and sign on those lines. Okay, um, number three, check if a witness is needed. Now the loan officer does this and I typically for the most part, 99% of the time, I make sure I check. Every now and then, though, it may slip, slip through the cracks. But one of the things is that some states do require a witness to be present. In other words, somebody who is not signing the documents. That sounds a little weird, but it's not up to low VA rates. It's not even. It's a state-specific law. So sometimes you can check on your own, but just check with the loan officer. Hey, did you do you know if we need a witness or anything? So that way he can check with the title company to confirm that. Okay. Now, uh, so like I said, that witness has to be someone who is not signing, okay? In some states, the witness can count, can be the, per, the notary or the attorney, but for the most part, just to play it safe, make, just count on you having to invite a friend or a family member who is not going to be signing on, on those documents, okay? Uh, bring an ID, all right? For all those who are signing, bring an ID, state-issued ID, driver's license, a passport, something that shows your, your name and your picture. Okay, that way the notary or the attorney who comes to the closing can confirm, okay, you're so-and-so. All right, perfect. That is the person who's supposed to be signing. We're good to go. So make sure to have a valid form of identification at the closing. Have a pen handy. Hopefully the notary or the attorney brings a pen just in case, but just have a pen handy. That's a pretty easy one there. The number six is the fun one. Hey, you've closed. Celebrate. You know, go out for lunch after you. If it was a cash out refinance, you know, hey, those debts are going to be taken care of, or you just got the keys to your house. That's exciting. Um, keep in mind, I do want to add one more thing too. So there's also what's called, you know, once you close, let's say you're getting a cash out refinance. Well, when do you get the money? When do you get the funds? Or when is the the previous lender going to get paid? So we also have to have a waiting period, and there's a rescission period. Okay, so to, you have to wait three days, and after the third day is when we can fund the loan and we can send the wires and so forth. Again, this gives you, the veteran or the borrower, the opportunity to back out if you don't want to, if you want to. Change your mind, you don't feel comfortable, hey, you signed, but something's telling you something's not right, or whatever it is, it still gives you a chance to change your mind. Everything gets back to how it was beforehand, you're not committed to anything, okay? 
Um, so, but of course, hopefully, if you've gotten to that point, you've already feel pretty comfortable. Okay. Now, when you do a purchase, typically purchases though they don't have to have that rescission period. So you 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 it funds that day or the very next day. Okay. Once if if once the rescission period is over and all, and the funds are maybe now you can have another celebration. Okay. So there's the closing and the funding. Have fun. Enjoy your new home or the the debt that's just been taken off your shoulders. Okay. We had, and I'd like to turn it over to you guys if there are any questions that we have. Okay. Well, it's been a pleasure. I hope to do this again sometime in the near future. If you have any questions, though, let me know. Ask for Maurice Navarro. I am a licensed loan officer in most states. Love to help you out and get you to this point, okay?